Welcome. In this video, we will discuss about the Kartarpur Sahib corridor. So, this corridor has been in news from past almost two years. There was contention between India and Pakistan regarding opening the visa-free uh, like movement of pilgrimages. But finally, they have come to a conclusion and it was inaugurated. But again, right now, the India has kind of called out the Pakistan in the way they are managing it. So in this video, we will discuss about the present context. We will also discuss about the location of the corridor, why it is so significant for the Sikhs and the uh, Sikkim religion in general. And also we will discuss a few details about the Guru Nanak Dev. So let's begin. So India has criticized Pakistan decision to transfer the management of Kartarpur Sahib Gurudwara from a Sikh body to a separate trust. So this is something which why uh, particular Kartar, uh, this particular corridor was in use because Pakistan has decided that instead of the Sikh body which was managing the Kartarpur Sahib so far, they have decided to move it to a separate trust and India does not like this decision of Pakistan. So Gurudwara Kartarpur Sahib, also known as the Gurdwar Darbar Sahib, is located in Pakistan, Narowal district across the river Ravi. So you remember what is the location? So uh, Kartarpur Sahib is actually located in Pakistan and which along which river? So the river along which it is located is river Ravi. Remember these two points over here. It is one of the most significant historical and spiritual place for Sikhs. So again, this is one of the major sites for Sikhs. According to historian, the first Sikh Guru, Guru Nanak Dev, had arrived in Kartarpur between 1520 and 1522 and spent the last 18 years of his life there. So basically the last uh, like portion of his life, Guru Nanak Dev Ji has spent it in the Kartarpur Sahib. It was in Kurtarpur where he laid the foundation of a Sikh religion. So basically the Sikh religion, the tenets of the religion, he kind of came up with it when he was in Kartarpur. The Kartarpur corridor was thrown open in 2019. So that is something uh, the Kartarpur corridor was opened for the visa free movement between India and Pakistan in 2019. So this is the context and this is why the particular Kartarpur Sahib is so important for Sikhs because their first Guru Guru Nanak Dev Ji, they came up with the tenets of the Sikhism itself when he was there in the Kartarpur. So this is how your Kartarpur location looks like. So it's again, just remember that it is along the river Ravi and it is located how the corridor is connecting. So it connects the Darbar Sahib Gurudwara in Narowal district of Pakistan with the Dera Baba Nanak Shrine in Gurdaspur district, Punjab. So from Gurdaspur district in Punjab, India to the Narowal in Pakistan. So that's how the corridor is connecting the whole, uh, like this is the Kartarpur uh, Sahib corridor. The agreement facilitate visa free movement of Indian pilgrims who would only need a permit to cross over to Pakistan. So why this particular corridor is very important because it allows the visa free movement of Indian pilgrims towards the Pakistan border. So if you see if you are moving towards any foreign national you need to apply for a visa. But this particular because it's such an important site for Sikhs and because of the proximity and the importance it holds they have decided that it will be nearer to the uh, like uh, Pakistan itself and hence they have started with the visa free movement. The corridor was built in 2019 to commemorate the 550th birth anniversary of Guru Nanak Dev who was the founder of Sikhism. So let's just quickly now try to understand some of the basics about the Guru Nanak Dev. So Guru Nanak Dev he was born in 1469 to 1539 so from that perspective you have to now go and check out the contemporaries so if you know the Babar came to India near the 1515 so you might have been able to know that Babar was the contemporary to Guru Nanak Dev so such kind of information you can get from the, the like their life period because this uh, type of question UPSC has asked in previous years so try to see who are the contemporaries of Guru Nanak Dev so he was born in Talwandi Rao Boy, which is near Lahore and it is now renamed as Nanka Sahib. So he was born in Nanka Sahib. Guru Nanak Dev initiated the interfaith dialogue 
way back in the 16th century and had conversation with most of the religious denomination of his time so now this is an important point that uh, he was uh, pro the interfaith dialogue so it was not only that he was talking about uh, developing a new religion which is not intolerant but the idea was more along the lines of having a religion which is more secular in nature and then hence he had started the interfaith dialogues his written composition were included in the adi granth compiled by the guru arjan who was the fifth sikh guru so the arjan guru arjan was the fifth sikh guru who went ahead and compiled the adi granth and the composition of guru nanak dev was included in that this came to be known as the guru granth sahib after the addition made by the 10th guru guru gobind singh so finally the guru granth sahib the religious sacred book of for the sikhism that the final version was developed by the guru gobind singh but the first time it was compiled in the form of adi granth by the fifth guru of sikh who was guru arjan dev in compiling the adi granth guru arjan showed a remarkable commitment to pluralism while retaining the unity of thought initiated by guru nanak dev so these are the idea the guru nanak dev the kind of uh, 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 what you can say features which he mentioned in the adi granth in his thoughts were more along the life of social harmony more along the life of how all religion should be combined together and more of towards the duty of men towards the other men kind so that's the whole idea on which the sikhism was based so i hope you have understood this video if you have any doubt feel free to drop a comment thank you